Welcome back, my friends, to the show that never ends and glad you could attend. On today's Chopped in Black, we have Prisoners, starring Hugh Jackman, Jake Gyllenhaal, as well as many others. Now we get the story of Killer Dover, played by Jackman, who uh, his daughter and his daughter's friend go missing. And uh, the police uh, are investigating into the uh, missing kids. Uh, one of them is Detective Loki, played by Jake uh, Gyllenhaal, but... Keller doesn't like how uh, the speed at which the police are doing their job or the job that they're doing in general. So he decides to take banners into his own hands and do his own investigation and his own methods to find out where his little girls are. Um, the Prisoners, wow. Man, um, this was a really good film. Don't get me wrong. I, I really enjoyed this film. And I think it's because of the performances of the actors. Hugh Jackman, wow. This is a role... He so is into this role that I immediately connect with his character on how he feels as a father, being a father myself, and his kid missing, okay? And the lengths, now the lengths that at which to goes to find out about his missing daughter, as PO'd as I would be, I don't know if I'd go that far. So I really love the performance of Hugh Jackman, but everybody's performance in here is just top notch. Uh, Jake Gyllenhaal's character. I liked his character. He, he also does some great things with this character as well. He's got little twitches and nuances as a D Detective Loki, this guy who's supposed to be this really phenomenal detective, okay, and, and solves every case he finds. So, yeah, I like Jake's character, but the supporting cast around him, Terrence Howard, Viola Davis, uh, Melissa Leo, Maria uh, Bello, all do great jobs. One, one uh, performance I thought was really kind of interesting and stand out but it may not get as much focus is Paul Dano's character of Alex Jones uh, he he's one, Alex Jones is one of the suspects really loved his performance in this uh, the character he played I thought for a minute they'd do something a little different with the angle of his character but no he he nails this performance as this kind of simpler guy and I really liked that uh, you, you know it just stuck with me as well and, and the, the script is it, well now the script we've seen this kind of story before girls go missing dad goes one way police go the other to try to find out you know where they are uh, so we've seen that before, but I think with the direction done by uh, Dennis uh, Vill... Wow, I'm going to murder that name. By Dennis uh, Villanueva, uh, I think uh, he, the way he directed it and told this story really helped keep it fresh and original. And the performances by everybody as well helped really uh, keep this movie going and keep you interested. Uh, I know I was interested and really curious of how things were going to play out with this movie. Uh, you know, and the writer, Aaron uh, Gerzikowski, who did uh, Contraband, I like the script that he did, but again, it's themes we've seen before, and there was a little bit of predictability to it. Now, uh, I know you can say that about just about every movie nowadays, but it's true. There, there was some predictability with it, and there was a certain part in this film that, uh, you know, Detective Loki, he's supposed to be this crack shot detective, but he misses... This piece of evidence, I noticed r right away, but he misses this and doesn't make the connection for quite some time, which surprised me. I, I thought he would have made the connection sooner, you, you know, uh, so I don't know. That That's one thing with his character was he's supposed to be this crack detective, but he did seem to miss things uh, or be a little bit slower on the uptake than I guess what I expected him to be within the setup of the character. So... Outside of that, though, I had no real problems with this film. The, the location and, and the weather and everything, the atmosphere where they were shooting this, uh, the kind of this in-between snow and rain uh, type of mixture of uh, weather going on really helped bring the dreariness of the situation across. So it is a very melancholy film, uh, though it does... Uh, they pick up near the end, and, and don't worry, it's not like a complete downer of an ending. And it's actually an ending that, that I, it was funny, I heard the whole audience gasp. I knew it was coming. I saw it coming. And, and when the audience gasped, I, I kind of got, that, that got me. So it shows you what kind of film you've got here, which is an interesting, in-depth 
a film that's got some fantastic performances by some great actors, and while it is material and script that we've seen before, I think it is worth your time. I gave it four and a quarter stubs. Yes, four and a quarter. Okay, not quite five because some of the issues I had with it. Okay, four and a quarter, but still a solid drama. Uh, I know you don't usually expect to see me to see dramas, but I do enjoy all films, and this one I did enjoy, especially for Jake and Hugh's character. And that'll about do it for us here at the Final Cut. Till next time, keep that ticket stuff.